Al just put out a ballyhoo plug. Butterfly. Butterfly with the backbone cut out of it. So that'll it'll just be flopping in the breeze down there. I got ballyhoo out here. I got my ballyhoo floating out. They're just behind it, so this could work out well if they come in front of it. Oh yeah, there's some coming in front. We're gonna get some of them. Look at these waves. Six footers coming through right now. Holy mackerel. Got a little nibble. Al's got a nibble. See what happens. I see the nibbles. See the rod tip twitching down there? Those are the nibbles. There it is. Al's got him. Good job, Al. Good job. Oh, another nice mangrove. Another 14, solid 14 inch mangrove. Woo! So Mike, are you calling the ambulance to come out here and get you? I'm back in action. Oh, he's back in action. I'm back in action. He's no longer mermaid Mike. He's now manatee Mike. He's back in action. Here we go. Al's on. Something big. Good job, buddy. Oh, All right. Uh -oh. Mike's got a yellow tail on the uh -oh. back. We're doubled up. Al's bringing something in nice. Nope. Oh my God! Look at that grouper. No way. Let's grab the. Let's grab the net. Oh yeah. Him. Before we let him go. Mm -hmm. What was in his mouth, Al? What is that? I don't know. It almost looks like a baby uh, parrotfish or something. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> so he ate that. That he he was trying to get rid of your hook, so he threw that out. He's got your hook down inside. Yeah, I might have to go for these long parts. Might have to go for the long ones. This is a nice fish. Yep. What a nice looking fish you got there, Al. Yeah. Great job. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the camera in the water so you can see him swim down to the reef when we release him. Uh, is it a black? <laughs> yeah, like like you never caught one before? Is it a black? black. Oh, of God. course it's a black. black. You can tell by the straight black tail on him. And the and, black around the fins. And the black on the fins and those potches. Yeah, we better let him go. All right, we're going to go to the back of the boat and let him go. Mike's back in action. What you got there, Mike? Oh, small mangrove. Small mangrove. Not big enough for a sandwich, so no, he gets to go free. There he goes. For mangrove. Nice job, Mike. Yeah. That's, that's a keeper. That's a nice one. Yeah. Just go straight to the pliers. Yep. You got him. I'll get the fish box for you. All right, Mike's on. Get him, buddy. Don't let him in the rocks. All right, nice yellowtail. Another keeper yellowtail. Another keeper yellowtail in the boat. Good job, Al. You got him, man. You got him, Mikey. Keep him coming. Oh, what happened? Your shrimp pull hard? Whoo, you had him. We saw it. That rod was bent. That's a 30 pound class rod too, bent over like that on the reef. You had a big one. Woo! Yes, sir. They're there. They got you. Got him. There you go. Yellowtail coming up. Caught him on a oh, huge yeah. piece of squid. There you go. All right, Mike's back here fishing the corner of the boat. He's getting tapped. I can see the end of his rod twitching. He's so excited. He knows something's going to bend that rod right in half. There's a big old grouper down there. Did he get a grouper or a mangrove? He got a mangrove. It's a nice one though. Another nice one. Good job, buddy. How about you, Al? Trying to catch bait. They're getting closer. Okay. Here we 
There we go. Into the boat. That's how you do it. If they can't get the ballyhoo close enough for the hoop, we use a hair hook and catch them one at a time. Because a live ballyhoo or a fresh ballyhoo plug that's down there twitching is way better than a dead one. Now that's found the one. grunts. That's a grunt. First grunt of the day. Throw him in this right side of the live well. Grunts are very good eating for breakfast. Grits yeah. and grunts. Yep, right side right here in the live well. We'll take him home. Good job, Mikey. Yeah, ma'am. Bingo. Everybody, Cousin Jim out here with Big Al from the neighborhood and Mike Myers from Pittsburgh. We're having a good time out here. If you like what you're seeing, hit the like button, hit that subscribe button. That's what keeps us making these videos. Look what Mike just got. Whoo, nice fish, Mike. Al's, Al's got something big on yeah, Al. Man. You want to come to the front of the boat, Al? Yeah. Al's got to go over the top of you. Yep, that's fine. Right. I'm, I'm probably going to break this off. You just keep yours on. I'm going to break this one off, Al. Maybe. Oh, he just came free. Mine came off. Yeah, yeah live yeah. out here. Could be something. I see it back there. Could be something else. Nice fish down there, Mike. Okay. Oh, my. Holy Whoa. moly. Look at the size of that baby. Okay. We're gonna, you got wow. it, Al? Oh, yeah, I got it. Okay. Holy shit. I can barely lift him up. Dude. That's a Key Largo mutton there, buddy. That is a Key Largo mutton. Woo! Okay. Wow. Big Al from the neighborhood, Mike Meyer, Cousin Jim, saying we had a great day fishing. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. We had a blast. Wish you were here with us. Yeah, man. All right, we just pulled up to the sandbar. Water temperature 77 degrees. So Cousin Jim does not get in at 77, but if you're from Pittsburgh, 77 is warm. Here he goes, Mikey's in the water. So this is this is the sandbar. We're four miles offshore, and the water it was three feet deep over there. I didn't get stopped in time. I got us anchored in five feet of water. But right now, I cannot understand why there are not 500 boats here because it's a <laughs> Sunday afternoon on an on a low tide. Yeah, it's, uh, unbelievable. <laughs> And next weekend's the holiday weekend, though. Next weekend is Easter. So this place will be packed. You never know what you're going to get to do in Key Largo.